inspiration, empowerment. We're doing good work together here in Portland. There's four action days today. I'm having people uh, basically give the garden a little facelift before winter. Now that she's not beautiful as she is. So they're putting burlap down to uh, strengthen the pad. They're chopping up the compost and spreading it out and getting it ready for the winter. They're cleaning up the front of the garden. They're planting fruit-bearing perennials and having a good time. This whole movement is about strengthening ourselves so that we can participate fully in life together. This is the Turner Garden and we farmed here for five years. It's owned by a woman that lives in Colorado. This year we grew peppers and corn and leeks and uh, sweet potatoes. The food that we don't uh, pass out to the volunteers in exchange for their hours goes into a food bank um, in the St. Andrew's Church and so we're be feeding people through a food bank that never had fresh produce ever um, for over 40 years in their food bank so now they have fresh produce um, the last five years. Wow. Yeah. Feed the people. Thank you. You're gonna eat them. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're gonna go into Portland and we're gonna take a look at a piece of space that um, is not being used for anything right now and we're gonna turn it into an urban farm. So join us on the musical parade over to Alberta. got to the time we planned on being here. <laughs> We've seen this happen a lot of times where like 100 people come out and we've already done more work than most people can do in you know, a number of weeks. And yeah. so it's about starting to look at the city around us and transform more of our urban hardscape into permaculture, into a landscape that's regenerative and healing and mutually beneficial to us and to the other organisms around us.